Meeting local tonight, North Dakota's House of Representatives passed a bill banning critical race theory in schools this morning. Reporter Maddie Beard Temple is live at the Capitol with more on that vote. Hi, Nicholas and Brooke. House Bill 1508 heard a lot of debate this morning before passing 76 to 16. It says schools can't teach critical race theory. In short, the bill bans teaching that racism is systemically embedded in American society and contributing to inequality. Several lawmakers opposed the bill, saying CRT is not happening in North Dakota. No one has been able to produce an actual piece of evidence that this is part of curriculum anywhere in K-12, legit evidence. They also noted the bill lacks consequences for teachers who violate it, arguing if it's a severe enough problem, there should be penalties. What are we doing by passing a law that has no consequences, no penalty tied to it? Some brought up First Amendment concerns and that local school boards should make these decisions, not the state. And the limited cases that were cited by parents should be resolved by school boards at the local level. But the overwhelming majority, 76 lawmakers, voted to ban it. It is declared passed. Some calling the idea evil. I wouldn't feed my children poison, and I don't want our teachers feeding our students, my constituents and family and friends, poison. Others said that even if the problem isn't pervasive, it could be, urging the bill pass as a preventive measure. I believe that it is, it's been subtle, it's going to increase if we don't prohibit it. Representative Scott Lauser says as a parent, he supports the bill. I want them to learn math, English, history, science, technology, etc. I want them to achieve and believe in themselves. What I don't want is for them to be taught that their success in life is a result of white privilege based on a systematic racism in this free state and country. The bill will head to the Senate next for a vote. And the bill gives the superintendent of public instruction the ability to create rules to enforce it. And the Senate will take up a vote on this tomorrow morning. And the governor would need to sign it for it to become law. Brooke and Nicholas, back to you.